What is up everybody? Ray Davenport, your director of athletics. And today we're gonna to go over the proper mechanics behind the overhead slam using a slam ball. So I've got my slam ball, and today we're gonna to focus on the overhead slam. It's probably the most commonly used in our class R3 resist row ride. Um, check it out if you haven't been yet. Uh, and there are some key concepts to think about when performing a slam. Um, first things first, I want you to think athletic position. We're gonna start kind of from the ground up. So I've got my ball here. Uh, again, I'm gonna show you the side view that's usually the most, uh, most helpful for folks to see. Uh, so ball at the bottom, right, we think athletic position. So we're always gonna finish here. Now, just like any other hinge motion or lower body power motion, we've got our feet about hip width and we're gonna get into that athletic position. So there's the bottom. Now, as we lift up, we're gonna go into what is called triple hip extension. So that is ankles extended, knees extended, hips extended. So nice straight line, that's gonna be the top of every motion. So ball is overhead, everything's extended, and then we're gonna drop everything down, athletic position, okay? So full speed looks like this. We take it up overhead, up onto the toes, slam, athletic position, okay? Kind of like a downhill skier at the bottom there, but it's making sure that we're getting into the ground and we're getting that triple hip extension at the top. So working through full range there. Um. So today what I wanna to demonstrate is how effective this can be at getting your heart rate up. So if you're not a person who likes to go out and run, but you still wanna get that cardiovascular effort in, I've got my MyZone belt on. We're gonna demonstrate five repetitions, how that's gonna make my heart rate come up. So right now, sitting at about 80, 85 beats per minute, um, we're gonna see just how quickly, now it might not happen immediately, but after those five slams, if I give it everything I've got in every slam, we should be able to get that heart rate to spike up a decent amount. So let's go for it. Okay, so that's everything I got in each of those slams. We're gonna keep an eye on the heart rate as it climbs. I can feel it. So it didn't have to do a ton, but you can see heart rate's coming up and it will get you winded in a hurry. So when you're picking that weight, make sure it's something that you feel challenged with. When we get it up overhead, we wanna feel that weight of the ball coming down into the floor. So there you have it. That's the overhead slam using our slam ball. Uh, keep these core concepts in mind for that movement, uh, whether you're in class or doing your own workout, I promise you're gonna get a great cardiovascular workout. You're gonna get that heart rate up in a hurry. Uh, if you have any questions about the movement beyond this video, please let us know. We've got a great team of trainers here to help you get where you wanna go.